We all know that football is a game of skill, strategy and pure athleticism. But let's be real, it's also a game of epic fails and cringeworthy moments that make us go, what were they thinking? So back in 2018, Mahari was living his best life. Juventus had just won the Serie A title and he was in the middle of celebrating the biggest accomplishment of his career. The fans were also going wild. He was on cloud nine. What could possibly go wrong? Well, as it turns out, even the most confident of guys can get curbs. When Mahari walked into the Juventus championship ceremony, he slid into those DMs like a pro. But alas, he was left on red. We've all been there, am I right? But at least Mahari's embarrassing moment wasn't as bad as our boy Leonardo's. Oh no, this was next level cringe. Back in 2015, during a game between Ergo Telles and A.E. Larissa, things were getting pretty heated. Leonardo was determined to lead his team to victory, but fate had other plans. As he was hustling downfield with the goal in sight, disaster struck. You'd think that the medical staff would be careful with an injured player, right? Nope. Instead of calmly helping him up, they practically dragged him onto the stretcher, slammed him down and dropped him three times. Poor Leonardo needed an ambulance to get off the field. Talk about a rough day at the office. Next, small bug that almost ruined a footballer's career. It all went down during the 2022 game between Cobb and New Zealand, where defender Michaela Moore had a bit of a slip up. Okay, she had three slip ups in the form of own goals. Yep, you read that right. She accidentally scored three goals against her own team before the game had even reached the 40th minute mark. Talk about a bad day on the job. Of course, this led to a total loss of five goals to nil at full time. Ouch! Needless to say, Michaela was immediately subbed off to prevent any further damage. But you know what? I kind of admire her. She really took the whole whatever a man can do, I can do better thing to heart. Even if it meant scoring own goals left and right. Sorry Phil Jones, looks like your high owned goal tally might be in jeopardy. Another embarrassing moment is about a guy who's made quite a name for himself on the football pitch and not in a good way. Meet Fahad Khalfan, the man behind one of the most epic bloopers in recent memory. Back in 2010, Khalfan was just a fresh faced 19 year old making his second appearance for Qatar at the Asian Games. The score was tied at 0-0 and tensions were running high. This was Khalfan's moment to shine, to show the world what he was made of. And boy, did he deliver a massive fail. With the game nearing its conclusion, Khalfan found himself with the ball and nobody in sight. He was practically sitting on top of the goal, just centimeters away from glory. But then disaster struck. In a move that would make even the most inexperienced footballer cringe, Khalfan somehow managed to miss the goal entirely. Yep, you saw that right. He missed. From centimeters out, with nobody near him. To make matters worse, his team ended up getting eliminated from the tournament. And as for Khalfan, well, let's just say he hasn't exactly been racking up appearances for Qatar since then. But hey, at least he's achieved internet fame for his epic fail, right? Silver linings, people, silver linings. The next embarrassing moment about Gary. Let's just say he learned a hard lesson about late night snacking before a big game. We've all been there, right? Those nerves can really get the best of us. But for Gary, the consequences were explosive. Even though his stomach was bubbling and grumbling during the game, Gary was determined to focus on one thing, scoring a goal. And he did just that, only eight minutes into the game. He was on fire, chasing down the ball and his opponents like a man possessed. But then, disaster struck. Around the 70th minute, the ball came flying towards Gary and he accidentally let loose, you know, down there. 
And to make matters worse, the whole thing was caught on camera in 4K. Yikes! But wait, it gets even better. Or worse, depending on your perspective. Instead of just owning up to it and dealing with the embarrassment, Gary took matters into his own hands. Literally. He wiped himself with his hands and ran off like nothing had happened. I mean, talk about disgusting. Poor guy. He probably wished he could go back in time and skip that late night Taco Bell run. Lesson learned, folks. Be careful what you eat before a big game. And if things go south, literally, don't try to pretend like nothing happened. Just own up to it and move on, okay? Trust me, it's better that way. With so many embarrassing moments happening in football all the time, feel free to add below any moments you can recall as worthy of inclusion on this list.